So for our first set, we're going to concentrate on shoulder mount conditioning. So to begin, I want you to lie down with your shoulder against the pole. I've got my right shoulder on the pole, so left hand on top, lying nice and flat. Making sure my core is engaged so that my back is flat on the floor. Okay, pulling through the pole, elbows forward. I want you to bring your legs up and then slowly lower them back down. Okay, I want you to do 10 like this. After you get to 10, I want you to then pull through your arms and bring your legs up. Pull, open to straddle, flatten your hips out, take up the pencil, back to straddle, bring your legs together as you slowly lower down, and repeat. Back to straddle, pencil, straddle, and lower. And I want you to repeat 10 of those as well. So just lowering down and up 10 times, then straight away into your straddle, pencil, and down 10 more times, okay? For our next exercise, you're gonna start sitting in front of your pole, shoulder against the pole. Again, right shoulder, left hand on top, okay? From here, what I want you to do, pulling your elbows forwards, they're going towards each other. I want you to try to pop your head back and lift just a tiny bit that you're lifting off the ground, okay? Preferably, we wouldn't stop in between, so we would just tap our bottom and pull straight back up. If that's too hard though, I want you to stop in between, reset, and try again. If you need to do a little push off one foot, you can, um, and just try and hold it for a little second. Obviously, I don't expect everyone to be able to shoulder me up. So these exercises, um, need to be for every level. So if you can't shoulder them out yet, I just really want you to engage your muscles and try and pull. And I promise if you keep practicing them, it will get better. And um, if you already can shoulder them out, you can try from here, pulling all the way up. I want you to open your knees and take your knees just past your elbows. I want you to lift all the way up into a shoulder mount. So just to here and tap and repeat. Okay, I'm gonna do 10 or 10 attempts and you're gonna do them at each shoulder. Make sure when you go over to your other shoulder, you have the opposite hand on top. So head back, just pulling enough so you can try and just lift off the floor a little bit. For this one, I'm gonna get you to start standing up. Popping your shoulder on into shoulder mount position. Hand on the pole. What I want you to do, again, pulling the elbows forward, pulling the pole, head back. I want you to try and open your chest, lifting it up to the roof, and opening your hips. Okay, so we're just pulling enough that our feet come up off the floor. Open your chest, and down. And again, and down. If that's too easy for you, I don't want you to stop in between. Okay, so I want you to pull. Don't touch the floor. Lift. And again, we're gonna do 10. Then you're going to swap shoulders and you're going to repeat it on the other side. To begin this set, I'm going to get you to start down in a plank position, making sure your hips are flat to so squeeze your bum, pushing through your elbows and through your shoulders so you can round the chest. You're going to go from here up onto your hands, stepping up onto the pole, back down to your hands, back to your elbows. Up, up, down, down. 10 times. Make sure when you step up to the pole that you're not too far away. If you're too far away and you try and push, you're gonna fall down. So not too far away, pushing up. So I'm pushing through my feet and I'm pushing through my hands to hold this position. Back down. Moving straight into our next exercise, standing on the floor in front of your pole. Swing your arms, jumping up to a Russian swing position, back down, feet apart, feet stay flat on the floor. Do a sit up, keep your feet on the floor, don't grab the pole. Try and stand up, swing and go again. It's important when you do your Russian swing that you're jumping up to a chin up position. You're not jumping up with a straight arm. So jumping to this position when we swing. Alrighty, 
One more time. Up. Sit up. And again. For this one, I'm going to need you to do 10 on each arm. So starting with the right arm 10 times, moving straight with no rest into left hand on top. For our side tucks, there's a few different ways you can do it depending on your fitness and strength level. So the easiest way is going to be standing to the side of your pole, outside arm on top. Make sure your arms aren't too high. The higher they are, the higher you have to jump. So about your forehead, I want you to jump up, even if you can't hold it for long, coming straight back down. As long as you're engaging your muscles and trying to hold. If you can hold it, try and hold it for five seconds and then come down, doing 10 on each side. Okay, make sure when you go to the other side, obviously we pop the other hand on top. Now, if you want to make it a little bit harder, you can jump up, open to straddle, back to tuck, then drop down. Turn on each side. If you want it harder, again, I'm just going to turn the other way so you can see. You can go up to a tuck, out to a straddle, invert to a front straddle, back to straddle, into tuck. Try not to come down between each one. Starting this set off with Russian swings. So having our arms not too high, because remember we have to try and jump our chin up above our hands. And what I want you to do is I want you to try and stay in that chin up position and Russian swing 10 on each arm. So jumping up from here, swing. If you find it too hard to stay up for 10 reps, just jump on the floor like we did for the sit ups. So jump up and jump back down. Alrighty. If those two options are too easy for you, you want to make it a little bit harder, I want you to swing and take a step, okay? I want you to take two steps up and two steps back down. So it'll look like this. And if you can, keep going and count out 20 steps. For this exercise, we're gonna do some pull-ups. So, arms up. What I want you to do, put them up a little bit higher if you can, up on your toes, and I want you to pull through your arms, pulling up, down to the floor, and down. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, I don't want you to stand on the floor between each rep. So you're gonna pull up, and we're gonna do 10, on each arm. If both of those are a little bit too hard for you, I just want you to jump, try and hold it, and back to the floor. Hold it for as long as you can, even if it's just half a second. If you keep practicing it, it will get better, I promise. So we're up to our last exercise. As with all of the exercises, there's a few different ways we can do this, depending on your strength level. So, split grip, one arm up, one hand down. So we're pulling through the top shoulder, pushing through the bottom shoulder, okay? So pull and push so that we can lift off the floor. The first version would be to just try and lift so we can hold and back down. And push and back down. So you're gonna do 10 on each arm. Even if you can just hold it for half a second. So you wanna hold your core and your bum and your legs really tight when you're trying to hold that position. If that's too easy for you, from here, I want you to pull up, slowly bring your knees up, and then slowly take them out. Back down. Holding each position for three seconds. You're gonna hold the pencil for three, bent legs for three, straddle for three, back down to pencil for three. And you can touch the floor between each rep if you like, but if you wanna make it even harder, obviously after you go back down to your pencil, don't touch the floor, bring your legs back up, and back out, and repeat 10 on each arm. 